during the last years uh, using immunotherapy, we observed a different new pattern of response. In addition to the common uh, response associated with a decrease in dimension of tumor lesion, we observed also a temporary increase in dimension or in number of tumor lesion that was associated with activity. This phenomenon is called uh, uh, pseudoprogression and it's probably due to the fact that immunomodulating agent uh, um, makes uh, active lymphocyte infiltrate uh, tumor and so it seems that a tumor lesion enlarge but it is a temporary phenomena and then um, you observe a reduction of this lesion. Um, this uh, uh, phenomena was more common with anti-CTL4 Epilimumab. It's um, observed also with uh, anti-PD-1, but less frequently. During the years, uh, um, the scientific community developed uh, new response criteria in order to detect this new pattern of response. And so um, uh, different uh, uh, criteria developed, like uh, response, uh, immune response uh, criteria, uh, immune-related uh, resist, immune resist. The main uh, concept that rely on this criteria is that we have to take into account in the re-evaluation of the tumor all the tumor burden, so the sum of the dimension of the lesion, and then if we have a progression, not to declare the progression, not to stop treatment, but wait a re-evaluation after a short period of time, four or eight weeks, in order to detect this new pattern of response, this pseudo-progression, because if you see a decrease in a short period of time, you are probably in the case of a pseudo-progression and so uh, you are able not to stop an active treatment. Clinical condition uh, of the patients uh, are important. Usually in this pattern you see a general uh, good condition and so be aware and not stop a treatment that is potentially active. There's a great debate about when to stop immunotherapy um, because uh, in the, um, the recent year using immunotherapy we uh, have a wider uh, group of patients that fortunately benefit from immunotherapy and have obtained a long-term survival. So uh, we are asking ourselves when it's the right moment to stop immunotherapy. Uh, especially in benefiting patients, so in responding patients. So after one year, after two years, at best response, at complete response. From uh, phase one and phase two trial, we observed a group of patients that benefit after interruption and maintaining response after interruption of immunomodulating agent. So uh, it seems uh, uh, and it's reasonable to think that there is an immunological memory that maintain the answer after stopping treatment. And so the question is appropriate. When to stop immunotherapy in responding patients? We observed also response uh, in, for example, immunocombo treatment, uh, so anti-PD-1 plus anti-CTR4 uh, combination, uh, uh, after stopping treatment for high toxicity. And so there's a, a rationale to study this question. Uh, in uh, no small cell lung cancer, in checkmate 130 uh, and 53, um, patients were randomized to receive uh, nivolumab until progression or for one year. Unfortunately, it was not a positive uh, uh, study. And so, at least uh, in uh, no small cell lung cancer, probably one year of treatment uh, is not enough. In uh, melanoma, K node 006, uh, we have some data that can help us to answer this question because uh, patients enrolled in pembrolizumab ARB stopped treatment after two years and we observed that after stopping treatment responding patients performed very well. Uh, it is not so well for stable disease patients and so we are trying to uh, focus on responding patients. Some experience uh, worldwide uh, presented also in different congress, um, suggests the use of PET scan, positron emission tomography, uh, in order to identify um, 
uh, metabolic uh, complete responders at best uh, radiological response. Uh, probably because uh, uh, me, um, metabolic complete responders are the ones that benefit best uh, from interruption and probably uh, are the group that really maintain the answer uh, after the, the interruption. But we don't have uh, uh, prospective data about it and we uh, uh, are waiting for uh, uh, enlarge our experience about that.